Why not, right? Yeah, I have low damage, but what am I supposed to do about it? Cliff Skip. It's called the Cliff Skip, sweetheart. You probably wouldn't have ever heard of it before. I could go up Havel's Tower. You know, oh, and then, can you, can you open, you can't open the door to the Taurus Demon from the other side, right? Cannot. Okay, thank you. So let's go this way real quick. Let's see what Havel's got going on. Sorry, let's see what Harvey's got going on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know why I was so scared. Backstab through the shield. Oh! Saved. His defensive game is too good, dude. Holy shit. Legends never die. <laughs> Three sixty dragon tooth, Taff, tiny dinky daffy, pancaked by drunk dump truck driver. It's so hard to say. You need fast roll. I can't do the fast roll because my only good weapon puts me on mid roll. No, I will not switch to the flamberge. Fuck you, Harvey. I hope you die, Harvey the Rock. No, I do not do dex builds. Dex builds are for people that wear bow ties in high school. Send them. Shattered his spine, dude. No. Have mercy. Have mercy! <laughs> oh, it's PvP! Amazing. Game of the decade, dude. Steel Helm. Well worth it. Take off Estus to cut down on your equipment load. So, like, obviously I'm not going to do that, but can you do that? Because that's hilarious. You're telling me this little mosquito is going to push this explosive barrel? Get ready, boys. The Taurus Demon. He's, it sounds angry. Oh. Oh. It's no big deal. It's just, uh, Manus. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just the hardest boss in the game. But he might fall off. You. This is not great. Pancaked by drunk dump truck driver. So I only see one way out of this, okay? And it, this is what it is. Trigger Manus, and then just run around like a madman. He might just fall off.
I mean, why even attack? It's not like we're gonna kill him. <laughs> That's no good. That's gonna kill us. Yeah. All right. So that's that's tricky. That's tricky. We probably won't go that way. Just yet. Fighting him in a hallway seems pretty dangerous. Run and jump off and hope he chases you and suicides. I'm like, how do we get anywhere from this point? You can get to the butterfly. Okay, butterfly, that seems very sensible. So butterfly is like up. Go to Andre, also very sensible. Same direction. And then we could fight the gargoyles. <laughs> No, not you. Not you, dude. If you go up the tower, Manus can't reach you. Yeah, but like... I think he's just gonna sprint... Into the ladder and attack endlessly. So I don't think there's an end game condition there. I think we're playing for a draw like it's the World Chess Championships in that case. I do have a bow. You're right. I could shoot him eight times. I don't know if that'll do enough. It might. Oh, hello. I love that sound. What are you doing there? I mean, this is working okay. And then this is the path to Andre. There will be a pseudo Titanite demon. Let's see what this guy is. Just just camera cheese. It appears to be a tiny little rat. <laughs> Blue Titanite chunk. Let's go. Andre, hello. Well. Just need Titanite. Any chance? First off, stonks. Can I get stonk spam in chat, please? Don't get yourself With a small loan of one million souls, I'm about to start my empire. You gotta spend money to make money. I don't know about those. Large soul of a nameless soldier? I don't think it's that good. Okay, we went back down to zero. It's 2k for 1k. Stonks. Another stonk for you. Oh, baby! <laughs> Alright, now that we're stonked up, let's see what my man's is selling apart from that. You got any Titanite? <laughs> it's not really what I'm looking for, but thank you. Well... The Blight Town key is 30,000 souls. That's not great. Is repair powder valuable? Is it worth getting? I don't think I've ever used it in souls, so I'm going to guess the answer is probably no.
Can I get some fake lore about the Titanite rat? Notice, this rat does not have dark fur like the other rats in the rat hole. This is a special rat, Pale. Does paleness remind you of anybody? That's right, Dusk of Ulaseal, a failed experiment from Seath the Scaleless. That's Priscilla, actually, whatever, dude, it's all fucking made up. I made it all up. It's a, just an elaborate ruse. I see a clam. I see a little silhouette of a clam. He's active. Yo, what a camera angle. They are not active, by the way. Dude, I would love to have a double boss fight be Ornstein and Smo. That would be like... Lore. He's not making it here. It would also be very funny to see Ornstein and Smo become Smo and Ornstein. Agreed. Agreed. I gotta tell you, I'm not really sold on the damage we're dealing right now. That's pretty good, though. <laughs> You got anything for me? It's a lot of souls, honestly. This is one of the hardest rooms in the whole game. Unless they don't activate. I do want to upgrade the axe, but I need to know who's got the... Uh, who's got the Titanite, dude. Did you hear that? That's a scary sound. Yo! Skeleton. Large humanity. Send that bad boy back down. Whoa, whoa Jesus. Skeleton's not that bad, dude. Oh, son of a bitch. What are, what are you doing? Ah! The sounds are scary. Oh, what the... Um... Um... Uh... <laughs> what is that thing, dude? What is that? Is that Nito? Is that the back of Nito's coat? It's Skull Face from New Londo. What? It's a New Londo thing, sweetheart. Well, uh... Gotta be honest with you, Guardians looking a little tricky as well. So, here's what you do. Dunk-a-dunk, dunk-a-dunk. Dunk-a-dunk, dunk-dunk, dunk. We're just getting items. Items. This is exclusively an item run. Your safety is not guaranteed. The Halberd has become Soul of a Brave Warrior. Definitely we can live with that. Miniature stonk moment, for sure. Twin humanities. Can't really complain. This is probably where things get a little spiced for us. Unless... Whoa! Pancaked by drunk, dump drunk driver. Alright. You idiots. No! I had the perfect plan. I was just going to do one more loop. 
That's all right. You get a chance to check on the talk. It was at 83,000 views. It's now at 92,000 views. What a world. Officially, Zoomer approved as of this week. That's a stonk. Guaranteed. That's a free stonk right there. Okay, let's try going back this way. One singular stonk. Not today. What? You freaking lived? He's not making it. He's too wide. Whoa! Easy there. <laughs> no. If you miss, it's over for you. Curse you right-handed nature. Clink. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard for me to say if this is an easier or a harder seed than before. Like... Undeadberg on our previous randomizer was borderline not possible. The items are definitely worse. Still can't make it out quite yet. True. I. That's very rude. I can. Come on, dude. Deserved. I could go back to Fire Link and get those other items as well. It's better. You've got more leggings. Could go back to the asylum and eat Priscilla. Yeah, that's true. I would rather fight Priscilla. On the asylum, then fight Priscilla on um, Undeadberg. Or, sorry, uh, Darkroot Basin. I will say, Priscilla Darkroot Basin is going to be an extremely easy fight. Once we get to the point where we are strong enough to do it easily. We, we should do the butterfly as well. Oh my god. Worth it. Worth it. We're free. Well, all I mean is like right now, Priscilla's going to be a modest degree of spice because we're doing no damage. But once we start doing damage, everything should get a lot easier. But particularly Priscilla because her patterns are like locked into my brain. And by patterns, I mean walking up to her and just spamming R1. Oh, good. You as well here? It's almost a real sentence. Um, why is there a tree in my building? Doesn't matter, I'm dead. <laughs> what the hell is even that? Alright, alright. I forgot we don't have the Lord Vessel. This is a frustrating moment. We gotta do some long runs. Please remind me... How do you get to the Moonlight Butterfly? It's next to the big door. I remember that. 
We did this last time, brother. I'm aware. I got I got other things going on in my life. It's not exclusively Dark Souls 24-7. Something gets purged from the memory banks, you know, a thousand times a day. Like, I forgot how to kick right there. Yo, chat, when does that new... Dark Souls, not Dark Souls, Resident Evil Dead by Daylight come out? I've, been, I've, I've had my eye on that. I've been peeping that for a long time. It comes out on the 25th of March. Thank you. Thank you. I have no idea what you're talking about. I believe it's called Project Resistance. It's a multiplayer add-on to Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil? Really? Resident Evil 3 is coming out that soon? I didn't think about it the first time you said it, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, really? That seems crazy soon. I mean, I guess, yeah, it did come out in like 1999, but... Oh, not you. the fat roll just make it dude just make it we're both fat rolling I hear him coming though please let me in let me oh let's go Thought I was being invaded there. Okay, honestly, speed is of the utmost importance here. Well, really, just the helmet puts us in fat roll territory. Hello, boys. Very much not worth it, but you gotta check. Rebuy and jump. These enemies are too fast. We're toasted. Not you. Not you. I can't believe we made it through. Now all we have to do is fight a boss. We're probably not nearly strong enough to fight no matter what. But he might fall down. It's a freaking gargoyle again, dude. It's just non-stop gargoyles. This is resin. You don't do this. I thought maybe he would wake up. It's all gargoyles and Priscilla's again. I do have the damage, though. You're absolutely right. Honor. Honor. Oh! Get bled. Not great. Also bad. That's not gonna hit me. Ow! 
I honestly forgot you had a three piece, which is pretty embarrassing because you just did that attack. Oh, I didn't think that was going to get me either. This is a double sip, and that's all we got. Now we're going for the fences. Gotta be honest, that attack seems really good in a small arena like this where there's no way to get behind you. <laughs> I had no stand for the second roll. No, I'm not gonna pop a humanity to kill a gargoyle with the HP of uh, a moonlight butterfly. Yeah, now, after this, I, here's the thing. I, I'm not going to respond to this in a condescending fashion, okay? But it's going to sound condescending when I say it, because that's how my voice sounds. I will get to the Undead uh, Merchant in Undeadburg, but Undeadburg is an absolute disaster right now. I think we got to start chiseling away at the problem on a different axis first. You haven't even been to Undeadburg? Yeah, because I can't get there. <laughs> the one path is like two channelers of real uh, big monsters and then the other one... Oh god. The other path is like going in through the back of the Taurus Demon Way. No, 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 no. We can definitely beat a gargoyle. That might take a couple of tries, though. The Manus Hole. Hey, we beat Manus! Dude, it, that's probably my most proud moment in the first randomizer, is finally learning how to actually beat Manus. For the first time in my life. I can't believe that worked. I'm more surprised we got behind him on this tiny hallway. Quick sip. Run. I hate that one. Hey, go ahead. Kick him! <laughs> no, gravity doesn't get this one. This one's for daddy. 20 prism stones. Well worth it. <laughs> if only I had an I'm sorry How's the gym going? Thanks for asking The gym is going well I think I've started to work my way Out of the plateau I've been on for a bit Fake Andre Yo dude is this It's the owl From Sekiro the owl, whittling his carvings, waits for Sekiro to visit him. He doesn't realize he's in the wrong game, the forehead. <laughs> That's true, he's also not supposed to be there. Do you still go to the gym when you're sick? You, in my opinion, should 100% not go to the gym when you're sick. I haven't been sick since July, knock on wood. Um, so I haven't had to worry about it. See ya. Items? Items? Ah. 
All right, we'll worry about that in the future. <laughs> ten ten thousand souls don't matter. Don't matter to me. All right. I do see an item back here. I saw an ad uh, with your silverfish clip in it. Go ahead, kill me, dude. I had I saw an ad with your silverfish clip in it, advertised by Twitch. It's true. Twitch has uh, Twitch has used my silverfish clip in an ad. I'm stoked, honestly. They did. So, so people that are curious. They did reach out to me, uh, like, the day after it came out. Obviously, like, you know, you can make some criticisms about that, I'll admit. But they were like, hey, we hope you're cool with this. And, like, you were a last-minute addition to the ad. So we just, uh, you know, honestly, it just slipped our mind. And I was like, yeah. That makes sense. I, 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 told, uh, I told the contact that reached out. I was like, there's no problem. Honestly, like, my take on this subject is that, like, I mean, Dan and I, we're going to, I'm 100% guaranteed we're going to talk about this on uh, Check the Wire at some point, and people are going to get very upset. I was stoked even when they didn't reach out to me. I was, like, flattered that they thought my clip was, like, good enough to be in the ad. So I was stoked about that, for one. Not being, like, just bootlicking. That's the honest to goodness truth. And then the second thing was, uh... Uh, I honestly don't take, uh... Like, I don't think it warrants compensation, if that makes sense. For me, I'm like, uh... I, I think I get more out of being in that good position with Twitch where that dialogue is open than I do out of being the squeaky wheel and being like that's not okay how dare you this is ridiculous like if, if anything I should be compensating them well let's not go crazy you got paid in exposure honestly doesn't bother me I'm happy to have been paid in exposure, whether it exposes me or not. Oh, there's an item. Dude, we've been, like, very item dry so far. Excuse me, he can't get here, he can't get here. Amazing. They might own the content anyway. Honestly, like, it doesn't matter. I, I get what you're saying, but even, like... And I don't disagree, but I'm like, dude, I didn't do anything. And Twitch was like, you know what? We're, we're gonna pay, I don't know, like, thousands of dollars to buy this ad. And put your own content out there. To people that might have otherwise not seen it. Even if like none... Oh, it's crashing. <laughs> Even if it didn't reflect uh, back to me in any positive way, I would be stoked. I would much rather get zero for it and take somebody else's spot that could have gotten the exposure instead of me and would have been happy to get it. <laughs> Alright, so that is just extremely hard crashed. Like, extremely hard crashed. Oh. This is not that crashy as compared to uh, what we had before. At least not yet. I hate when people get offended for someone else not knowing their take on the situation. 
I mean, if you've been watching for a length of time, you probably know that I agree with you a thousand percent on that one. Like, I only found out I was in the ad because there was a thread on the subreddit that was like, uh, you know, hey, our boy's in the ad. And then there were like people in there that had like rushed to my defense. So I made sure that I like made a comment and the comment was like, hey, it's cool. I actually, I'm flattered. And then someone replied to my comment that was like, yo, but did they, you know, ask? And I'm like, I'm not even going to answer it because like, why would I, why would I give you fodder for that? Like, I'm thankful that you're on my side, but at the same time, I'm like, I just told you that I was like cool with it. Why, why try to... Why try to find something to be upset about? You know what I mean? Okay, let's take a look. I see a large tree. Let's reload. They're not pants, it's a waist cloth. Have some respect. If this thing hits me, I'm gonna be mad, dude. <laughs> Almost mad. Don't even get me started on that tweet, dude. Ah! The tweet makes me want to die. That's that's my uh, that's my two cents on the tweet about getting mad at video games. I've already made like a hundred jokes about it over the past three streams. Okay, I can't go any further. Suffice it to say, I think the idea that um, if you ever stop getting mad at video games, you lost twice is not. If what you meant to say is never settle when you could always improve, that's like a very admirable sentiment that I honestly think we could use more of, sincerely. The idea that you should perpetually be big mad at a video game is, on the other hand, extremely dang bro, you just posted cringe. I deserve that one. I deserve that one. If you had to tweet something in that style, what would you say? All right. I don't know where the hell I'm going here now, dude. I don't know. Let's rush the gargoyles. The thing, the the perhaps bad faith take that's been in my head for like months is honestly when I see people spending uh, a lot of time being mad on stuff I thought we could make it being mad at stuff that doesn't matter at all on Twitter like not uh, not politics because that matters but when I see them getting mad about like dumb shit related to the entertainment industry I always want to tweet not to them but just into the void uh, imagine like what your day would look like if instead of like you know, tweeting, like dunking on something stupid and then refreshing the replies for 25 minutes if instead you just like went for a walk outside. Or like started working or, you know, cooked yourself a nice dinner or bought groceries or, you know, read a book or etc, etc. And I'm being sincere, like... Yes, sometimes when I'm like, I mean, I see a lot of politics stuff on Twitter. And when I see people that tweet politics stuff like literally like more than they do their actual job, I'm like, that's not the way that I would do things. But on the other hand, I respect that like, it's like the most important thing for a lot of people. However, when I see people like get into the arguments about like, what's better, Nintendo Switch or Xbox? For like a whole day, I'm like, man, you are, you got poisons. 
You got brain poisoned. You gotta, you gotta get out of that discourse and please let me through. I don't consider that a hot take. I only consider that a hot take online. I think if I said that to uh, someone in meat space, they would be like, yeah, that's obvious. <laughs> A bunch of boomers? No, I mean like a bunch of millennials who have jobs. <laughs> I do like people are like you you only do this when you have been poisoned yourself on Twitter. It's not the case. Like honestly, Twitter is so good for me cuz I've just and I've been doing this for like a year now. When people tweet dumb shit, I just unfollow them or mute them. So my Twitter experience is extremely great at all times. But occasionally, there's some people I can't unfollow. So I still have opinions. No, it's not Rob. I've said it before. Rob tweets about politics more than I would, for sure. However, oops. I respect it, to be honest. Because, you know, he's putting his money where his mouth is, and he's like, uh... You know, he's working towards the future that he wants to see. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, you got it. It's, it's Justin. Because Justin's constantly tweeting about like 311 and 420. And I'm like, dude, there's other numbers. Dumbass. There's like thousands of them. There's thousands of other numbers. Why are you only talking about these two? I did see his tweet about the horny guy in McDonald's. I did indeed. It was a good tweet. I agree. Anyway. That's, that's my, um, please let me through, sir. Hate this, dude. Um, that's, that's my hot take tweet. Is like, the curse of being always online is like, oh my god. People are spending, like, a lot of every day willfully making themselves miserable. And then the even more annoying part is that they've, like, convinced people... Or themselves, at least, that is, like, productive. Or that if they're not doing that, like, in some way, you know, they've, they've screwed up. That's, that's my take. Please move. Please move. Please move. I honestly, I do blame my own generation as well. I really feel like like a lot of Zoomer culture is like being really like wholesome and empathetic. And I feel like uh, like millennials and Gen X grew up in like you know the dawn of modern sarcasm. And we just love being angry at all times. Maybe they'll get there too. Maybe they'll get to the point where they're angry at all times. Uh, it says I have one Estus left. <laughs> Alright, that's a little weird. Stonks! Yeah, dude! <laughs> I do need to boost the power of my Estus flask, by the way. I still don't know how the hell we're gonna get to the freaking... Gargoyles, though, dude. You know what? Yeah, 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 chat. Thank you. Thank you. You geniuses. But that's that's the hot take uh, tweet that goes off in my head all the time. I'm looking the wrong direction. Oh. It's basically like... 
I don't know. If I look at it via like the deathbed perspective, the bed that kills people, I'm like, I would hate to, and I'm sure I could still do this for the record, but um, look back, you know, I'm 90 years old and I'm dying. People are like, do you have any regrets? I'd be like, yeah. That like 11 years that I was mad on Twitter uh, every single day when I could have been doing something else. Can you check the alley through the windows to the right of Petrus? Okay. Thank you for the very, very specific and timely feedback. Windows to the right of Petrus. Windows to the right of Petrus. Some notes from the underground shit. Thank you for the item, by the way. Um... I'm not, that was not sarcasm. I appreciate knowing. And yes, the Firekeeper's soul. Very good point. Um, so it's been like two years since I read Notes from the Underground. The only thing I remember is the first part of the book is an incredibly long blog post. And then the second part of the book is him inviting a nice young lady over to his house and then just yelling at her for six hours that he's a piece of shit. <laughs> just inviting this uh, nice young lady over and being like, I live in garbage. I am a rat who is not fit to eat the trash from which I've been bequeathed until she eventually leaves. That's, that's my only memory of notes from the underground. Wasn't she a prostitute? Yeah. A nice young lady, like I said. Who's got a hot take now? You have a... Okay. Here's the thing. I do want to go back to the asylum. However, I would really like to see... What the gargoyles are. We've come a long way. I gotta know. Actually, you know what? I remember, uh... Hey! I did it for you, dude! I also remember him going to a dinner party. And everybody being like, Hey dude, long time no see. And he was like, Eat shit! Eat shit! Eat shit! Eat double shit! You eat shit! And then all of his friends were like, Please leave? And he's like, no. And then he got trashed on stolen wine. That sounds familiar. Alright, here we go, boys. He's done it. Dude, something's going off down there. <laughs> Alright, get ready, boys. Get ready. Don't skip the cutscene. I see Priscilla. <laughs> Priscilla and the Sanctuary Guardian. Are you kidding me, man? It might be a lie. It might be a lie. But this definitely looks like Priscilla. But that's where the Sanctuary Guardian was before. I don't know. We'll see. That could be... That looks like Seath. Yeah, yeah. Seath? <laughs> Bring your daughter to work day? It's a lore fight, boys! Oh, jeez. Pretty bad start. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's gonna be a long one. Goodbye, cruel world. Alright, um, being under him 
unfortunately did not appear to work. Dunk it, dunk it, dunk, it, dunk, it, dunk. Did you like the book though? Honestly, I liked it okay. We didn't get cursed. I liked it okay, but it, it actually reminded me a lot of the uh, of the movie Burning, where I was like, I totally get why this is great, but at the same time, I'm a little bored. So we're gonna go fight Priscilla. I thought there was another floor. A witch Priscilla? <laughs> a asylum Priscilla? He's done it. Oh, thank you for the cheer. Much appreciated. No, I thank you for asking. I have, as of yet, not seen the lighthouse. I screwed it up again, didn't I? I will... I will see the lighthouse. Hope. Oh, no, 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 no. Hopefully, like, this weekend, even, would be nice. I feel like the end of 2019 was, like, really good for movies. Parasite was killer. Knives Out lived up to my expectations in a big way. Uncut Gems was, like, unbelievably good. Haven't seen 1917. Heard it's great, though. The Wolf Ring. Awu, by the way. Good ring. Ooh. <laughs> Werewolves of Lordran. Curl up like a ball. Just like a balloon. Portrait of a Lady on Fire was sick. I, that's Dutch, right? Is that a Dutch film? Or am I thinking of the girl with the pearl earring? It's French. I know what I said. <laughs> Leather egg. This isn't that bad. That guy needs to unbind jump. Um, we just need to get to the Bonnie. We get to the Bonnie, it's all good. Let me... Ah! <laughs> no! No! I refuse. I refuse to pay that any attention. <laughs> I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick though, one sec. I'm gonna run some advertisements, who knows, you might see my own content in there. We'll see. One moment. Skirt.
Hello, I'm back. I'm gonna eat this builder's bar real quick though. Because I am starving. Takes a while to chew. Shark fuel. Absolutely. I can't deny it. It's true. Sai, so you had some gazpacho soup in the fridge. Can I have some gazpacho soup? Where be your nutcracker? Uh, I think we have one upstairs with the Christmas stuff. Oh, good. So that'll only take a second for you to get. He's done it. He's done it still. He's still done it. Apollo, are you still here? How are you doing? How's Mario? How's Luigi? How are the rabbits? That's all right, he was here for a bit. Ooh, he's gone, he's gone. He can't hurt you now. Please, please, please. No, no, those horrible yellow eyes. Here we go, boy! I'm sorry! That's gonna put us at a disadvantage. He did take some fall. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll learn in the future. 